Alright guys, here's what to do if your Jetson Nano is broken. So we have our Jetson Or Nano developer kit. We have our Jetson Or Nano module right here. You see it's unplugged and that's simply because when this guy gets plugged in, no power light. Power light's supposed to be right there. We get nothing. So what we need to do is we need to plug into the serial interface to verify that everything is functioning. So we have this USB to serial adapter right here. We have our four wires. We got ground, positive, TX, RX, and we're going to wire those up appropriately. I'll show you guys a wiring diagram right now. All right, we're back. Uh, we wire everything up except for positive. We don't need that. Um, and now this is wired up to a serial connection connected to my laptop. We'll take this module. Go ahead and slot it in like that and you kind of it's a little weird you, you get up you got to pull these things out while pushing it in might help to get a little tool just like that there we go horrible sound but okay so that's in now keep in mind we have power no light still but we'll go ahead and unplug this and then I'll bring you guys to the laptop and show you what we see there. All right, so we're on the laptop now. We can open up PuTTY. Uh, we're gonna need to know our COM port as well. So we open up Device Manager, look at our COM port. USB serial port is COM20 for us. So we'll go ahead and type in COM20. Uh, this needs to be serial, COM20 again. Speed is 115K. We're gonna go ahead and open that port. Now what we expect is we're wired directly into this Jetson module serial. So we expect to be able to plug this power in and see something pop up on the serial console. And as we can see, nothing pops up, meaning something on here is broken, most likely the power interface. Um, if you, another option is you can measure the voltage on here. So I'll show you guys how to do that. So you take your voltmeter. Wow, these are the same color. Uh, okay. Pretend this is positive. Positive goes in there, that. Your negative is gonna go there. You may have to move it around a little bit to make sure you're making contact, but that should measure the voltage and you should see that this is, I believe around 19 volts uh, for the Jetson. And if it's not, you could have a problem with the power supply. What's happening to mine is every time I plug it into my developer board or this, uh, this carrier, my voltage shuts down, goes to zero volts, uh, indicating there's probably a short built into here, causing my power supply to shut off and nothing works. Uh, so the next thing is you can buy another carrier board from a company like Waveshare um, or Seed Studio, and you can test that. So that's what I did. It was about 100 bucks, 130 bucks, much cheaper than the 500 I paid for the Oren Nano developer kit as a whole. So we'll try that now. So here's our Seed Studio developer board. Uh, obviously it looks very, very similar. Uh, what's nice about this one is it actually has the ability to mount a PoE adapter so you can power the whole thing over PoE. So we'll go ahead and unplug that. Uh, we'll pull this guy out just like that. Put that to the side. Bring this in. Plug this in the same way. Oh, okay, that was a lot better. Yeah, you just kind of lever it in and push it down. So now we're back in here. What we expect with this power supply is that it's gonna work. Now, it's currently outputting zero volts because it has a fault thrown, so we unplug it from our AC power, plug it back in. Now we take that guy and plug it in. We should see. Please watch this part of the video if you bought a Seed Studio or a WaveShare carrier board. Nothing, that's not good. Smoke, we have smoke. That's smoke. I don't know if you guys can see that. All right, don't do that. Something's definitely very broken on here. Luckily though, we can isolate it to uh, that component right there is what smoked. You see that little pin right there? It's white and I don't think it was white before. Could be wrong on that, but let's see, let's feel it. Doesn't feel too hot. Question is, can we plug this in now?
Interesting. So that has no issues, indicating that something in this dev module is shorting, which is not good. Um, that means that's definitely probably an RMA request that we have to send in and get it fixed. Uh, so I hope this video is helpful, giving you guys some debugging tips. Obviously, we didn't get to the root of the problem. Um, I'll keep you updated on the RMA, RMA request. Uh, but yeah, those are some things that you can try to get working to fix your jet, Jetson dev module.